SEAL Team has returned for season six, and it's the first time it's on Paramount+. Plus. Welcome to the streaming world, sir. Thank you. Because we are streaming right here, and yeah. I love it as well. But So it's interesting. So you, there are different, what, standards and practices different from network television that you're – you're allowed to go color outside the lines a little bit in a way that you weren't before. Yeah, I mean, obviously, network television is is such a great thing to be a part of. Yeah. The um, you know, you you really have the challenges of not doing certain things and still telling those stories. Yeah. But when you're on a streaming network, you have the ability to kind of stretch the storylines a little bit better. It's not really about the fact that you can swear and say horrible words, whatever. Right. But you have to earn that as well. You can't just go in there and start, you know dropping F-bombs all over the place and say, hey, I'm on a streaming network, it makes sense. No, but the characters and the arcs of all these characters and special operators were able to really kind of shine a light into their into their mental aspect of what happens when they're on a mission, what happens when they come back home, how they're treated, mm -hmm. um, their relationships, um, how they keep them, how they don't keep them, how they struggle, uh, suicide, lots of, lots of areas that we can go deeper in. And they just market it like a movie it's great and we shoot it like a movie so it's fantastic to be a part of and we're happy where we're at seal team available on paramount plus starring uh my friend david boreanis back here uh, on the rich eisen show and we'll return to the subject in a second um your your phillies are, are locked in a playoff game right now i, I appreciate your your undivided attention to this thing even <laughs> it's though it's hard going to, to the right <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult your for peripheral a vision again that's your directing yes. ability right there that yep. you can actually uh, multitask uh, mm -hmm. very well done and then the eagles are five and all this is amazing what's going on with your team i you know right I, now. I, I i you know i was very hesitant with the eagles in the beginning of the season you know i think Sirianni's done a great job so far. What won me over with him, and I really wasn't a huge fan of his because last year he was talking about daisies in the locker room and saying we have to, yeah, you know, water and water. fertilize. That doesn't and work in Philadelphia. I'm sorry, <laughs> man. It really doesn't. Um, but after the Detroit game, he was high fiving the fans in the back. Like he actually went back in the stadium. He's high fiving them. So it's because of you guys. We we came back and we won this game. And I think that intensity level of seeing that was that's a blue collar kind of mentality. Sure, you can show up and wear the t-shirts that say, you know, Harold Carmichael or Bill Berge or what that is, or love the city of Philadelphia, but you really have to be that true essence of what Philadelphia is. It's so blue collar, deep ingrained. You you want to throw batteries at Santa Claus, you know, if they're right. loose in the game. But uh, he won me over and Jalen Hurts was the same. I was not totally bought in on Jalen Hurts. You know, at the end of the season, he progressed. But I think what we're seeing here is just this fantastic consistency from him and he backs it up with his hard work and I think that paid off this past summer hard work and I think with him it's about an obsession like obsession really is the aspect of an athlete if you are obsessed you can just outwork anyone and he has that obsession going on right now and it's fun to see it's great to see our defense playing good um you know I'm excited for the Cowboys to come to town and get their ass whipped Look out. All right. It's okay. I'm excited about that. That's all right, TJ. It's all right. You Sorry, can, TJ. Calm down. It's okay. TJ, it's okay. He's got what you got your your cowboy. Um, okay. Cowboys versus everybody. Understood. Ah, yeah, that, that's nice. It's cute, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can clap back. Just to understand that you got Jace Hayes to deal with if you. If yeah. You, yeah. Uh, I, don't, I, don't want I don't want those problems. I know man. you don't want that. I, I got a Blackhawk station now. We can rappel down and take care of you in a matter of seconds. <laughs> so, that that you, honestly, you wouldn't even know what hit you if so fast. <laughs> Look out. It's almost kind of like our D line coming at you. This oh, but you know, David, I, you're a guest. I want to be, you know, I don't want <laughs> to be. It's okay. You know, it's Penn State week. It's Penn State week. But you can talk about Penn know, State's Micah Eagles Parsons. Are three you can do and that. seven in their last 10 against the Cowboys, and you've been outscored. Let me just, math isn't my thing, but 109 to 64 in the last three games. Right. Living in the past, right? Well, we don't do that. to go by. Those that do high Oscar don't live in the past. Ah, <laughs> what a segue that is, right, right man? Right? Let's journey all down right. the, let's journey let's down go. that path, let's man. All right. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna positively <laughs> visualize. Is that so that was one of the things you dropped when you sat down, and I maybe I shouldn't use that word when we we're referring to ayahuasca. You have you have uh, tasted the the fruits. The journey, yeah. Plant what medicine was quite a remarkable, extraordinary experience for me. Um, I did it this past May, and you know, it really is a journey. It's it, You kind of are called to it. It's mm -hmm. not something like, I'm going to pick out and do. Maybe some do, some don't. Yeah. I'm not here to like say you have to do plant medicine in order to understand your true self or whatnot. Everyone has their own thing. 
But uh, yeah, for me, it was uh, it was quite an extraordinary journey of doing this for five days in Costa Rica. Five days? Yes. That's yeah. how long it lasts? We or did it every night, ceremony every night. every night, which was great. And then you also take classes, which was a fantastic experience throughout the day. You have a better understanding of what it's all about, the effects of it, and the people that are around you, and the shamans are, you know, quite a, a group of people. I mean, they really are very unique in their own way. Um, so for me, it was really understanding about being in the now, you know, like being present and rather than just, you know, festering on the past or so worried about the future. Um, and uh, it was just a great overall experience. Yeah, and I saw a lot of, a lot of crazy things. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> So when you hear Rogers talking about it, yeah. you, you totally get what he's saying. Totally understand it. I think when you have an understanding, and it, like say if you had done it or one of your fellow cohort workers have done it. You're assuming you I have it. I don't know. You could be in the room and yes. you can totally get it when you mention it. You can look at that person and say, I've traveled that and I know it. And it's this unique kind of um, communication that you have with the other person. And I don't know if that's maybe the third night because the aliens visit you. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know if it's the second night in your purging over a bucket for two and a half hours. I don't know. Is that what but, happens? Oh, yes. Yeah. You have a mattress. You have a bucket, a roll of toilet paper at the end of your mattress. How do you take it, David? Is it it's, a, it's, a, um, you know, it's a ceremonial drink. It's, like in a, it's almost kind of like, like doing espresso, double espresso. Whoa. That's the way I kind of look at it. That's kind of taste, a little bitter. Okay. And, uh, and you know, you clear it. your mind, you set your manifestations and you drink the ayahuasca cup and it's a, you know, it, it doesn't taste great, mm -hmm. but you know, we're talking about medicine that's from the indigenous group of people from so many thousands of years ago. The last night we did a medicine called Yahe, which is 5,000 years old and they call it the grandmother of medicines. Why is that? It's your grandmother. I don't know if you want to. <laughs> quite honestly, I don't I know mean, if you want to. I mean, my, my, confront that. My maybe grandmother sometimes. played canasta. I don't know if that's what happens. <laughs> you know, with, when you're on the grandmother of uh, Yahe. Yahe, which was I think from Midnight Run. Yahe, we, we always said that to people. Hey, when Yahe, said hello. man. So, yeah. so, yeah. Um, all right. So when Rogers said this week, uh, yeah. again this week. When Jair Alexander said, hey, um, don't worry about the defense, but if we lose next week to the Jets, then I will. And he's just say, hey, we don't need to be talking negatives. We should be positive manifestation. And people are like, what? This is, is this an offshoot of it's what you're talking same about? Same concept, man. Michael Jordan hit the court, man. He manifested it. He was so present in the moment, which was why he was such a great yeah. athlete and uh -huh. basketball player. You can see it in their eyes. I mean, athletes go, and some athletes go and do this. PGA golfers do this. They mm -hmm. want to line their matrix because you do see the matrix and the lines, which is fantastic. You really do? Yeah, it's amazing. Yes. Yeah, you do. So you can adjust that. A lot of NASCAR drivers do it. You know, big Fortune 500 guys do it. I mean, it is quite an extraordinary experience. I keep saying that because it's really hard to explain, but I can understand Roger's mentality to it. It's like, okay, you lost the game. So what are we going to do? As sports people, we love to talk about it and show the mistakes and see all that. And they learn from that and they grow from that. But they're they're in the now and they'll worry about that next week. It's I mean, it's very Bill Belichick, too, right? He doesn't want to talk about certain things. Mm -hmm. He's very cued into what's happening presently with his team and his players. Down to down, snap to snap. Yeah, man. And that's the way it should be. I mean, I mean, for me, it's a, that I, I mean, I, I, I tapped into that and I get it. I get it more. Being a big, huge sports fan and, and growing up in Philadelphia – you understand it even better now. You know, you have the ruthlessness of the audience coming at you. You got the press coming after you, you know, um, after a bad game, if, whether it's you're in the New York market or the Philadelphia market, it's tough. And an athlete has to be, you know, has to be callous to that. You got to run the water off the back like a duck, bro, and keep rolling, right? Stay in the now, do your thing. And I think that Jalen Hurts has that mentality. He's, I don't want to be known as 5-0 and right now, right? Mm -hmm. I just want to get out there and continue to grow learn, go through my, my routes, my progression. And it's great to see that, you know, and, and you can see how the team is building around that, you know, from all the Batman talk with the defense, yes, right. All that fantastic where that's, that's bringing the team together. I mean, that's a true leader, you know, and I think that that's exciting to see, and especially in a team like Philadelphia, the they love that. SEAL team season six on Paramount plus David Boreanaz here on the Rich Eisen show. And I love Jalen Hurts' story, man. I just love Jalen Hurts' story about what happened to him in college mm -hmm. and how he stuck around anyway. He sat there, watched Tua take his job on a night yeah. that they celebrated the ultimate celebration and then stuck around, didn't transfer, did transfer eventually, got a shot, 
went to Oklahoma, gets drafted in Philadelphia. People are like, why are you even here? With Wentz with, on the with Wentz ticket? on the yeah. team, he eventually gets in there, and people are like, "Well, you only get your shot because Wentz is so untenably bad." Yeah, you get your shot here, and then he gets his shot, and then he's benched in the last game of the season mm-hmm. for something we still don't understand why. Yeah, he does get his shot last year, takes the team to the playoffs, and then a lot of folks are wondering if he could still do it anyway. And now he's a rock star. Yeah. He is a rock star. In this league. Because it comes from the foundation, right? It comes from the growth and going through that progression of it and understanding it too. Like you have to be in that process of it. And he he fully bought into it in the summer. I mean, you could see lots of athletes come out of the summer, regardless of the sport. And so you can tell either they they're in it or they're not in it. Yes. Right. And you automatically can tell that, you know, and I think that that's what makes up a team. And then to push, to push the A.J. Brown button for him, he said he was on the phone with A.J. Brown on that draft night because yep. they knew each other. They, didn't you tell a story about going against each other, Alabama yeah. and Mississippi State? And uh, oh, Ole Miss, pardon me. I don't want to keep saying Mississippi State for him. And Ole Miss telling those stories about that. Now he's with him, and he's yeah. got his another Alabama kid, the kid who caught the touchdown pass from Tua in that game in Devontae Smith. That guy is now his teammate. Can't make it up. I do love the run game. I love Jason Kelsey. Yeah. I love him and what he is. And, and we had Darius Slay on the show two weeks ago. My man Slay, man. He, they play Slay, Slay, bro. He knows. Like, it's hey, listen, Slay. they got, they have the jam, I and call, they got the depth. Like, their offensive line is, they're just stacked. I love man. how you refer to my man Slay, because I <laughs> refer to him over and over again as Darius. And he says, it's Slay. Yeah. And then he would go on his answer, and I just thought he was using that as just a terminology for his chi, his, yeah. his mantra of life. And I said, all right, I'll bite. What is your definition of slay? He goes, no, just call me slay. It's slay. <laughs> and I'm like, right. you know, <laughs> that, man. man. You respect he that. that. He, he loves that because I'm like, I had no idea what yeah. he was doing. I said, I went to the Coming to America. Mama named him Slay. I'm going to call him Slay. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Brian Dawkins, right? He became the idiot man. That's right. When he played the game. He put the right? eye black he put on that yes. perform- Performance in you tap into that. Yeah, I would say Jaguar spirit. Yeah, Jaguar spirit, right? Yeah, that's, going back. That's is that it. more ayahuasca you're talking sure. about. Sure, I get <laughs> Damn, it, man. man. And I you know, it's like it's very, it's very similar to what the seals go through, right? Their their camaraderie. You know, you're going into a situation. Yeah. As a team leader, you're leading a group of six, maybe even more now. Their, their teams really are made up of like 35 guys. Um, we're kind of like the small spectrum of special ops, but. You keep that unit together. You make calls, you're instinctual, you compartmentalize it, but you have to be trained and ready. You have to understand that the person next to you is more important than the jer- you know, so the name on the back of the jersey. We've all heard that cliche way too many times, right. but that's what it's about. It's it's leadership and someone know how to go against the, the go to the, the the one person who is struggling the most on the team. Pick him up and make him better. That's going to make the whole team better. David Boreanaz, again, everyone check out SEAL Team Sunday nights on Paramount Plus, where you can get that right here on Roku. And um, and check out the new episodes, again, that debut weekly exclusively on Paramount Plus. You're not doing fantasy anymore, are you? No, you it's just, it was, I had two teams going at one time. Too it much. was just too much, man. I couldn't do it anymore. I got, I got too confused, and I found myself, like, rooting for the teams I didn't want to root for, like the Cowboys. Oh, come on. It's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna be a great Sunday night. But it's week, you know. Come on, it's week six. It's Let's great, talk though. week nine, ten. That's when things really heat up. No, but it this is. is it though. It is. We're in it, this man. Is it. I Every love it. I love it. You've had too much ayahuasca if you're like it's just week six. <laughs> well, there's always more to go around. Right? <laughs> <laughs> would you? Would, would you do it again? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I definitely would. Does it have to be done in Costa Rica? Or that's just no. I mean, I, I mean, you, you, you know, look. The, the ceremony itself, you want to be in an area that is, you know, kind of in that environment, sure. right, so to speak. I'm not going to be doing it like downtown yeah. L.A. Or, <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, let's go to Langer's and get the 19. <laughs> it's not happening, man. Yeah, so no sorry. Let's grab a, grab a Pink's. <laughs> what? Let's go to Dodger Stadium. <laughs> that Dodger Stadium would turn into like the, the, I don't know, the dome of like, I don't know, hell or something. You'd, it would be like, you'd see things and be like, oh, man, this maybe I shouldn't have done this here in the city. Well, I love it. You're like listening to Rogers. You're like nodding your head. You're like, okay, you know I what? It. I respect that guy, man. Man, he's got it down. His soul is pure. He's let's just you know, let's just get some wins, man. I, I dig him more. 
Because of the because of the tea. Because of the tea, I man. Some questions like, why did you want to try this? Like, how did this come about? You know, in your mind to to give this a whirl. Yeah, you know, it really is just you know, I I've been like kind of I was kind of studying about it, being on the show, and, and a lot of guys who are old, um, you know, SEAL guys or DevGrew guys, they use a, a lot of these plant medicines for PTS and TBI. So I kind of was tapped into it, at, like season two, and then it kind of progressed into like getting a call to do it. And that's just a personal thing. I mean, it's, to me, it was, it was high boil in my world and I went in and did it and uh, I'm glad I did it, you know, cause it's painful. It's the most painful thing you ever do in your life. Wow. Besides that, or passing a kidney stone is horrible. I've Damn. Done, I've done <laughs> You've done that. I've done that. So it's try the tea. Really Give him awful. some tea. Give him some tea, Give man. Give him some tea. <laughs> and an Eagles jersey. There you go. Uh, That'll be good. Fly, Fantastic. Fly, Eagles, fly. And the Phillies uh, have knocked Max Fried out of the game. So oh, look it's 4 1 with two men on, top four. Wow. Come on. Everything's coming up, Boreanis, right now. Oh, yeah. huh? uh, this is nice. Uh, the only down. There you go. Spot for us or the, is the NHL and the Flyers. It's right? okay. You got we, the Sixers season about. coming up too. <laughs> uh, check out I am D Boreanis on Instagram. David Boreanis, SEAL team on Paramount Plus. Thanks for coming on, brother. Thank you. Man. It's always a pleasure, it. man.